smooth criminal, bitch. Number five. Y'all want to know what I think about the Kyrie and Kanye West situation? There was a thing called buck breaking they used to do to men back in slavery. And they did this so they can weaken his manhood in front of his family. What they would do was take the strongest of the bunch and they would humiliate that person in front of the whole plantation to show the others that you better not rise up, speak up, or stick your chest out against us. Otherwise, you would get the same thing, if not death. Yeah, and we all know that Kyrie and Kanye West have a great influence, especially on our culture and community. So they're used as an example to the rest of the community that you better not try it or you can lose everything that this country has to offer. You got to pay attention to what's going on. We can't say, we can't post nothing up. You can't do nothing no more these days, man, because they will persecute you for even saying the name of somebody they don't like, like a Kanye West and a Kyrie Irving. Shit is crazy. Now, we ain't got to agree with everything Kanye and Kyrie says. I don't agree with everything America does and says, you dig? But one thing I will give them props for is that they were willing to lose everything, including their money and maybe even their life, to stand for something. And you know what, you know what they say, if you don't stand for something, you fall for everything. So I will give them props for that. That's some revolutionary shit right there. Black people in general, you got to be careful in these times, man. It's damn near equivalent to slavery. You got to watch what you say. You got to watch what you do. Because it can cost you your livelihood or your life. Smooth Jilla. I'm out.